Hey everyone, it's Michael here with goodyreader.com and if you have an iPad or an iPhone, you may have noticed a big upgrade today with iOS 8.4. A lot of people said that, hey, it's all about Apple Music and their new subscription-based system, but that is not the case. I think that the biggest update was to the iBooks app. Now you may notice something strange here amongst all my eBooks. We see audiobook purchases that I've made and you can flip between the shelves now for all books, PDFs. But if you click at the top here, there's a new option, audiobooks. And these are audiobooks that I purchased. You see here some interesting options. You can switch between track one and track two for this audiobook. But if you look at Ready Player One, it's actually broken up into segmented tracks, usually about 20 to 30 minutes. There is a sleep timer in the bottom right hand corner, so you can automatically turn the audiobook off if you say you're going to sleep or if you know you're going to be stepping away. You can also share the audiobook that you're reading via Twitter and uh, let the world know. So I'll post that on my Twitter or. Maybe I don't have it on my iPad. In any case, what's more exciting is when you go to the Apple iBook store. In the past, it just had books, but you notice here there's a tab called Audiobooks. You can intuitively browse and buy, listen to previews, and everything else. So if you, if you click the preview button, it'll automatically start playing on the top right hand corner in a preview window course you can check out the top charts all of like the the big name free and paid titles that are available you could further customize the iBooks app here so you can actually change how much you want to skip forward or skip back if you click the skip button uh, defaults 15 seconds but you can change it anywhere here and it's the same for skip backwards. In the past if you wanted to buy an iBook you actually needed to open up the iTunes store. You had to actually buy them in a hidden uh, section here and then when you had purchased a, an, an audiobook you actually they had then to open up the music app. So not the most intuitive way of doing things. So right now you basically buy re listen and everything else just using the iBooks app. So if you're an audiobook user, know that Apple's entire catalog of audiobook content for the most part is sourced from Amazon owned Audible. So you'll be able to uh, get probably the largest selection of audiobook content that's really out there right now. So we hope you've enjoyed this video, give you a sense on what's changed in the iBooks app and how audiobooks now is taken 